Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a unboxing on some more stuff that we picked up at the store. And these were actually in the sneak peeks. Uh, I did not have a vlog for today's video. Um, I did not bring my GoPro to the store because once again I was out and we were not planning on going to the store. So I didn't bring anything. But the stuff that we picked up that I'm not going to open uh, are going to be these two. We picked up one of the newer blue classic Batmobile that's tuned. And then we picked up the uh, Shelby Cobra 427. I might unbox this if I get a new one. But for right now, we're not going to unbox it. And I just realized that this Batmobile, uh, the lighting is bad today. The Batmobile has a uh, chip in the paint, and that sucks. So we're going to have to pick up another one. Today's car of the day is a 1998 Mazda Savannah RX-7. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Turner cars. It looks really nice in that blue paint job and chrome wheels, which never last the chrome always wears off but it is a mainline and they should make a premium of the, that one because that'd be really nice before we get into the unboxing i just want to mention the background um i still don't have my computer it's still in the mail so once again we're gonna have another video without our first subscriber's name on here but we did get the rest of these brands on here. And the reason why I have the Jada toys is because of the 1 in 32 scale models. Like the Ford SVT Lightning that we unboxed in the last video. Um, that's the only reason why I have that. But today's going to be a pretty fun video because we have some really nice stuff to unbox. So first we're going to start with this uh, Mighty K truck. Uh, I've been wanting to unbox one of these. A lot of people have been getting them, and I haven't found too many of them, and when I did, I just didn't buy them for no reason. <laughs> so, that is really nice looking. Um, turn this on. That'd be a good idea. It has a little skateboard in the back of the bed. It has, looks like a wheel has some Japanese writing on the side and it is a Ryu Asada uh, car again and then we found J case in a hobby store so this will be a really nice one ton box also this is Automobili Pinaferina Batista and I did a little research I found other videos on it and there's not supposed to be a symbol on the front of the car I didn't know if I got a defected one or not and that's why I held off on opening it because I don't want to open one and it turns out it's bad and then I have to open up a second one and then I have two of the exact same car that is such a nice looking car this has really nice paint job on it and the wheels are RA6 wheels um, which they have no chrome on them, but that's fine because for this car if they put chrome on the wheels It kind of look more whoops. We kind of look more babyish on this car <clears throat> But they did a good job on that and back it again back in 2021 or maybe earlier hold up. Yeah 2021 this was a mainline of a tr super treasure hunt. Um, back then I wasn't really looking for any treasure hunt, super treasure hunt. But this, even the mainline edition has such nice sparkly paint. And this looks like a really nice car. And these were completely overpriced since I got them at a, um, not a hobby store. I got them at a furniture store that had a whole bunch of different stuff. So they were $5 each. Wow. Look at that paint. That is such a nice looking paint job. And I can only imagine that the Super Treasure Hunt is going to look even better than this. But there's that. 
And then for our last car, I still need to get a mat for the bottom here. For our last car, we're going to be opening up this, which is a Range Rover Classic. And first, I thought it was just a recolor of this Toyota Land Cruiser. But it turns out that it's a completely different car. I mean, I looked at the wheels. They look the same and all that. And it was in just a video. Um, and then when I actually got to the store, I'm like, oh, look, there's the recolor. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not a Toyota, so this was such a nice looking uh, livery on the car. And I like these kind of mixture between like a SUV and a truck type car, more for off-roading. And it looks really nice, quite accurate scale. I know Hot Wheels have been making some cars this year that the scale on them has been really weird. For example, this uh, square body Chevy Silverado is absolutely massive compared to even this, this car, which is huge. So some of them are a little bit funny scale, like not exactly 1 in 64 or Maybe a little bit too small, a little bit too big, whatever. But most of them are pretty accurate on scale. Um, and then also, before we finish the video, on the background, I'm probably going to start putting some car brands like, I don't know, Chevy and whatever else that I like. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, though, because this looks really nice. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, help the video get seen on YouTube, and I will see you in the next video.